Okay, how's your the breaking apart of your layout going for you? Hopefully no troubles there for you. It is a bit of a pain in the neck to have to reposition things like the sidebar or this blog loop here. But let me show you what I have here. I have all of my smart objects here. Again, I know they're smart objects because of that, that icon sitting there inside the thumbnail. So I got all the way down. There's the blog loop uh, that I have there. There's the sidebar content there as well. Actually, I should stay consistent here and call this blog loop content. There we go. <laughs> and there's the sidebar content that I have there. And I didn't do my footer yet because I want to show you something here. The only remaining item inside my original smart object is the footer content. So there's no sense in going and cutting that content out and repasting it in. I'm just going to rename this guy to footer content, right? Okay, that's wonderful. Now, the next thing that I want to show you here is we want to further organize and keep our layout sorted inside the layers panel. Again, for me, this does get tough for me because I really don't like a layer-based approach to things. I really prefer object-based approaches, but I need Photoshop. I need some of the different tools and some of the horsepower that Photoshop brings that Illustrator just doesn't have. So I'm kind of forced into this. So even though I'm begrudgingly being forced into this, I'm gonna try and keep myself as organized as possible as I go. So now I've broken apart my Illustrator layout into Photoshop layers. What I now want to do is I want to start sorting these layers into various layer groups. And again, this is just a, a further technique that you can apply to keep yourself organized. And it's completely optional too, by the way. You don't have to do this. But essentially what I'm going to do is I know ahead of time, I know that I'm going to have a variety of objects that are actually going to make up the header of my layout. For instance, we're going to have the logo, which is going to wind up as a separate object, by the way. We're going to have this red background, which is also going to wind up as a separate object, by the way. And same thing goes for the, the main menu. So even though all of those items that I just rhymed off are sitting inside this header content smart object, eventually I'm going to break them apart further, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a layer group in anticipation of having additional layers that are going to make up my header, if that makes sense. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my header content smart object layer at the top of my layers panel. Way down towards the bottom of the layers panel, we have this folder icon right here, create a new group. Go ahead and click on that guy. And that will give us this folder inside the layers panel. This is called a layer group, right? And again, we can use this to help sort out our designs, our layouts. So rather than calling this guy group one, though, I'm going to double click on this guy and I'm going to type in header. And basically what I'm now going to do is put all of the layers that correspond with the header area for my layout inside this header layer group, if that makes sense. And again, at this point, there's only one layer, but again, I'm anticipating that I will have more layers I'm going to take this guy and basically drag and drop them inside the header group there, the header layer group. And I can see now he's organized or sorted underneath the header group there. And I can actually expand and collapse this group here. Okay. Again, it's just an organizational technique that you can apply. Okay. So basically what I want to do is I want to do the same thing for all of the other areas inside my layout, but I want to speed things up here a little bit. So the next guy that I'm going to do is my slideshow content. I'm going to grab him. Check this out. This is the, the ultra fast way to work. Make sure that that layer is selected, or maybe you have multiple layers that you want to group together. I just held down control or command here on the Mac and grabbed additional layers there. You grab the layers that you want and hit control or command G. And what that will do is simultaneously create a new layer group for you and throw any layers that you had selected into that layer group, which is fabulous, right? So the only thing you have to do is go and rename these guys. Slideshow. There we go. All right. So that's what we want to do here. At least that's what I'm going to do on my side. And I'm going to basically repeat that process for the remaining items that I have here inside my layers panel. Once we have the layers panel completely organized, what we can do is we can start drilling deeper into specific areas of our layout. For instance, further developing out our header, which is something that's coming up, right? So I'm going to leave that up to you. Finish off your, your organizing there inside the layers panel. 
And a quick side note as well, make sure you save your file once again. I haven't been showing you my process of actually saving, choosing file, save, and going and saving this guy, because I assume you are all right with saving on your own. But I've saved this guy as design.psd. I've saved him inside my, uh, once again, inside my project files folder, which is sitting on my desktop. So go ahead and do the same thing. You don't want to lose your work here. All right, I will catch up with you in just a few minutes, and we'll start developing out our header further.